I need to find me a love puppet. I know, I know. Sometimes it takes a little time to find yourself a love puppet. I know there's one around here somewhere. Just need to get me some. Oh, here he is. Here I come. Give it to you from behind. Oh, you like it like that? I know. Let's turn you around. Do a little switcheroo 69. Oh, I know you like it like that. I ain't done, boy. Yeah, you like it like that? I know. You like it like that. Hey, this is my love puppet. Let me give it to you. Oh, yeah. Oh, I know. I know you like it like that, baby. Oh, yeah, I know you like it like that. It's more to say, hey, guys, it's Klaus. Welcome back for another video. Another one, as you get every day on this channel. And we're going to discuss a very important question and take a serious look at, uh, well, the question is the title of the video, which is better, uh, the Badger or the Death Star? Now, as you know, the Badger, there it is here, has been introduced into the game. Wow. I mean, uh, a lot of people have played this and said that it is overpowered, fantastic tank destroyer, right, uh, with fantastic front armor, great gun depression, very, very difficult to penetrate from the front, except for the lower plate. Uh, all, no weak spots from the front. Uh, one of the highest, or the highest DPM in the, it's like a, a tortoise on steroids, this thing. Just amazing. And, and then there's the Death Star. You used to have to grind the British uh, TD line uh, to get a Death Star. Completely different, right? Not the highest DPM in the game. It's just a, a gun that shoots once and does a shit ton of damage rather than shoot over and over and over again to do a shit ton of damage. A rear-mounted turret that didn't quite fit in with the British TD line theme, so it was replaced, and you cannot get this anymore. If you don't have one, well, too bad. Uh, if you're going to grind the British TD line now, uh, you're going to end up with a Badger instead of a Death Star. So which one's better? Let's... Uh, that's, that's what we're going to have to figure out. So we're going to have to take a kind of a detailed look at these two. And I happen to have both of them because I had this thing before they switched it. Here we are in my garage and there's the Badger. Look at this thing. Now, we're going to be serious in this video and actually talk about the two. The Death Star. This is the Death Star now. Yeah, they, uh, uh, they both look pretty important, but they play completely differently, and it's all about the, the play style and these two things. Completely different. Let's look at the guns here. Uh, the, look at this thing. This is the, uh, the Badger. Seven shots per minute, 272 pen, 480 damage per shot. DPM out the yin-yang, 1.7 second aim time. Just incredible. Uh, so you take a lot of shots and you're exposed to the enemy a lot. So you have great armor and gun depression. The Death Star completely different. Only two shots per minute. Now the regular AP round, 310 pen with 1,150 damage. But the Hesh round, 230 pen is 1,750 damage. That's why it's called the Death Star. You only shoot twice a minute instead of seven times a minute. Completely different, totally opposite ends of the spectrum. How do we determine... Which one is better? Well, you know what? One of uh, my great subscribers, Maui29, sent me a game, and the matchmaker is going to make it easy for us. He played a game where there were two Death Stars on his team and two Badgers on the enemy team. And what better way to contrast and compare than to just watch that game? I know it's not scientific, but, you know, it, we might as well watch. And here he is. He is in the uh, artillery here. But we're really not interested in his game. Look at the look at the lineup here. There's two Death Stars on his side, top tier. Well, of course, tier ten. And there's two Badgers on the enemy team. So, you know, this is going to be like a, a comparison of styles. Uh, just a complete. Uh, you know, one team is going to have to play uh, the Badger way, shooting over and over and over again. You know, with the great armor. And the other team, his team, is going to have the Death Stars, uh, you know, where it's all about Alpha. You just take that one shot and you do a ton of damage. So let's just watch the game. And very interesting when you have this situation. And it's going to be fun to watch. I know it's not scientific, but let's just give it a go here and see what happens. And uh, we'll keep an eye on the, his team, the two Death Stars. They're over at his right. 
and they probably won't push up too quickly here there they are there they are they're gonna come and uh, they're set up at the tracks ready to take some shots if anyone is spotted oh oh one of them one of them team killed him one of the death stars has and on oh, the other death stars team killed someone else on his team so the two death stars on his team have, have turned blue they're both blue it looks like one of them is banned is motionless the other one is still moving uh, what is going on here uh let, let's have a quick look here well we can you know what we we might as well just talk about the armor a little bit here and as you can see here the death star armor is very weak from the rear as this uh, lorraine teammate shoots the blue asshole that has been banned up the ass and uh, i think the lorraine bounced one shot so you have to make sure you don't hit the edges because they, there is some weird angles on that armor even from the rear uh but you do want to get behind these things because the, sitting in front of them that, that's not a good idea you do not want to sit in front of them because they can do a lot of damage but their reload is so long that you can easily get behind them and shoot them up the ass oh no no the death star has shot someone else who's he shot his gun again and he's killed another one he's killed one of his teammates that was stupid enough to sit in front of his gun but now his long reload means that the lorraine can flank him easily and shoot him up the ass and kill him so i mean the death star's got a couple of shots in this game but yeah, they're both out of it they're both out of it let's watch some of the remaining gameplay here there's a a tier 10 medium tank he's trying to salvage the situation here it's just it's zero eight which is a typical start to this game so he's still got a chance uh if he noticed that he was spotted and there was an enemy right beside him uh, it would probably be better for him not to take that hit but he's going to bide his time here now look he's got some help coming you look at the mini map there's some there's some medium tanks oh look at this they're all grouping up now they're going to work together as a team they're going to wolf pack and go together the three of them versus two will they focus fire and shoot the same guy oh look at this three versus two all they have to do is shoot the same enemy and not miss their shots and everything will be okay two auto loaders and an stb1 with fantastic dpm uh, uh they've all missed and not focused fired and they look like they don't really have a clue what they're doing and this one russian pancake tank uh, handled them so well that didn't work out uh, maybe this french tank was just on a reload let's see what he does he's it's only 112 he still could do some flanking and rack up some damage here here he goes i think he sees an unsuspecting enemy oh there he is he's got one eyed up here he goes here he goes and uh well uh, that didn't work out for him uh there is one russian guy left it's 114 he could still pull this one out of the bag he's down to one hp and can he can he do some damage yes Yes, he has killed one enemy. He's doing okay. And he is a slow moving uh, uh, TD with no turret, just like the Badger or the Death Star, really. And he's stunned again. He's stunned again. Whoa, he's stunned again. 215 is the final uh, defeat in this game. But come on, we were having too much fun there. Let's get serious and look at the post game stats here and see how these Death Stars and Badgers measured up to each other. Now, here we go. Let's see how the Death Stars did on his team. Here's one of them. There he is. Uh, he did uh, a 2,641 damage. He only got uh, two hits, but did 2,641 damage with his two shots. Let's see uh, what the other Death Star did here. Uh, well, he only managed to do 460 damage, uh, but he only had one hit. So the total for the Death Stars, 3,101 damage. Uh, and it took them three shots to do that. Let's check the Badgers now. How did the Badgers do? Here's one of the Badgers. Well, uh, he had one hit and did 486 damage. Good job, good job. The Badger was really uh, doing well there. He took five shots, only hit one. But anyway, how did the other one do? Let's see. Oh, he was doing pretty good. He did 1,313 damage. Now, he took five shots, but only three of them penetrated. So the two Badgers combined did 1,799 damage. And they won the game. Uh, the Death Stars combined did 3,101 damage. Uh, and uh, lost, unfortunately. So you can see the two contrasting styles there. The high alpha, you know, the Death Stars did not take a lot of shots, but did a shit ton of damage. And the Badgers took many, many shots and did, you know, managed only half as much.
as, uh, as the Death Star. So it looks like the Death Stars, without question, uh, managed to do a lot more damage than the Badgers. The Death Stars died earlier in the game and did almost twice as much damage as the Badgers did. Now, the Badgers uh, ended up winning the game. It has a lot to do with your team makeup. You know, it's a, it's a team game, so sometimes things don't just... It's not all about damage, but uh, I'd have to say the Death Star is the clear winner. Well, I told you it would be a serious look at which would be better, the Death Star or the Badger, and it looks like the Death Star wins. Unfortunately, uh, you cannot get a Death Star anymore, so, well, sucks to be you.